take like a little woman. Does a woman have a little taste like a like that much? I was willing to give up that much. What are you trying to say? I'm a man. No, I ain't saying you're no man. No, you ain't no man. But you I ain't no man. Ain't no man, but this. How you know? Hey, everybody, and welcome back to my kitchen. I need to take out the bacon. Now listen, you guys. I just fixed some bacon, and I'm fixing some fresh bacon to use for this recipe that I'm getting ready to do. But actually, y'all, it's a concoction. I mean, for real though, it's it's a real concoction. So right now I'm taking, I have, I cooked eight pieces of bacon. And I had a taste for, you guys, I love a loaded baked potato. And most of the time when we go out for dinner, I'll use, I'll usually get um, french fries, but every now and again, I'll get a loaded baked potato. And I'm just getting ready to drain this grease in here. Y'all know, we cook, so you got, you got to save that bacon grease, honey. So, okay, 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 wait a minute. So I'm just taking this bacon grease and putting it in my container and I'm gonna use it for another time, of course. But today I'm going to make a loaded potato, ranch, chicken, bake, something like that. Because it really is a concoction, y'all. I just had a taste for a loaded baked potato. But I wanted to do it casserole style. So a lot of times I'll just put some stuff together. I may review some recipes and kind of see if I see anything that piques my interest and then decide, okay, I want to try this, so let me add this. So this is what I'm going to do. I have, and then I had some potatoes I needed to use up too. So I have my potatoes here, potatoes here that I've already um, washed and I peeled them. I have one, two, three, I have six potatoes and they're not very that one is small. This is like the largest one I have in here. But again, I just wanted to get these used up and I have them in water because I didn't, there is cold water because I didn't want them to start turning brown. We're gonna need some salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. I'm gonna use some ranch dressing and I'll be using a buttermilk ranch. As I've shown you before, I have my bacon and I wanted to make sure it was crispy because I need to crumble that up. And I have my cheese. I have some Kobe Jack and some cheddar that I will be grating. And I'm going to use, I could have cooked some chicken. I ain't feel like doing that. I have this grilled ready, these chicken strips, strips that are fully cooked. And these are by Tyson. But by the way, you guys, these are really good. So I'm going to use these. If you want to, you can use chicken you've cooked. You can use a rotisserie chicken and just pull it off. Whatever kind of chicken you want to use. And then I'm also going to, you guys, I'm really curious about this garlic parmesan. This is a wing seasoning mix. But I really want my potatoes to have a lot of flavor. So I think I'm going to use some of this too. I'm telling y'all, it's a concoction. It's just what you do when you cook, okay? And then we're going to see how it tastes. So, let me, I had cooked my bacon in the oven. I always cook my bacon in the oven and it was on 400. But I'm going to turn this up to about 450 because when I put this all in the oven, the main thing I'm really going to do is have to melt that cheese. Um, again, the chicken strips are already done. It's just a matter of heating those up, okay? And then I also have a little bit of red onion, this purple onion, because I needed to use it up. I don't have chives, so I'm going to use this red onion, and I'm going to put it in. I'm going to bake the potatoes a little bit before I add the chicken so the potatoes can get done. So I'm going to add this in when I bake the potatoes for about 30 minutes to make sure that the onion is not raw and that it cooks. A little bit okay so 
First, I need to drain off. I'm going to pour the water off of my potatoes. Um, and then we're getting ready to dice these up so we can add the ranch and the onions and then get those in the oven. And they're going to start baking while I grate up the cheese and crumble up the bacon, okay? So let's start, let's start dicing these potatoes. So we're going to start by dicing these potatoes into cubes. And they don't have to be real small. And you guys, as always, make sure you wash your hands when you're in the kitchen. Don't be in the kitchen with nasty hands because that's just nasty. I want to be eating food and you haven't washed your nasty hands. Y'all, that's nasty. Y'all, this is going to be very quick and easy. I love simple recipes that are quick and easy to put together that fell on the floor so that's gonna go in the trash but I love recipes that are quick and easy to put together but they taste so good Ooh -wee. potatoes diced up in little little chunks and now I'm gonna add my onion in there my red onion my purple onion to that we're gonna add a little salt and pepper I'm going to add this garlic parmesan seasoning mix as well. You know what? And I think I'm just going to add the whole pack. How about that? Told y'all. Concoction. Okay. And to this I'm going to add, I'm going to add a little bit of ranch dressing. Okay. Oh, I'm just slinging potatoes on the floor. cube I've lost that has to go in the trash can. Hey, let me be a little bit. I'm probably slinging them out because I have this spoon too. So let me be a little bit more gentle with the potatoes. 
Can't be losing no potatoes now. And you know what I may not need, baby. Look in this cabinet right here, and um, that one right there, and one of my casserole dishes, because I probably won't need this real big one. Get me when you see one that's a little bit smaller. Okay, I switched out casserole dishes. I think I'm gonna use this one rather than the other one. So, but before I add these potatoes, I want to put some butter in this casserole dish. Not that one because I want to use that for something. It's this one right here. Okay, so I heavily buttered the inside of the casserole dish and now I'm just going to put these or the potatoes in here. better that other casserole dish would have been a little too large okay so here are my potatoes and I'm gonna put this in the oven again it's preheated to 450 degrees so I'm gonna let that it just reach the temperature I'm gonna set the timer 30 minutes and while those are baking I'm going to use the same bowl and I'm not going to clean it out or anything, okay? Now I'm going to add, I'm going to add my chicken. And you'll see this chicken comes in strips. They come in strips, so I'm going to use my scissors and just cut it down a little bit. bite-sized pieces and I'll kind of guesstimate as to how much chicken I think I used once I get it in there. This is a little frozen steel. get to the bottom of the bag some of the pieces are already small because this bag I have already opened up Okay, so there's my chicken, and I would say that may be about maybe about two cups or less, give or take. And to that, I'm gonna add a little bit more ranch dressing. Side. 
guys, sometimes you've got to have that little bit of salt because it helps to balance out the flavor. So I'm going to sit this to the side. And now I'm going to grate my cheese. And this is, again, I have Colby Jack and some um, cheddar. Those of you that watch my videos or who are, who are subscribers, you guys know that I prefer to grate my cheese. If by chance you're new, you just stumbled across this video, now you know. I prefer to grate my cheese as opposed to buying cheese that's in the bags, that's the pre-shredded cheese. stuff that they put on there to preserve that pre-shredded cheese I just prefer not to have and then the when you grate your cheese in my opinion it's so much more creamier than the cheese that's um, pre-grated and what I usually do is buy a big large block and then I cut it up in little squares like you saw like this and then I just keep them in the freezer and I just pull them out as I need them. It doesn't take long at all for them to unthaw. If I know I'm cooking something and I'm going to need some cheese, if I think about it, I'll pull it out the day before and just put it in the refrigerator so it'll be ready to go for me when I get ready to use it. Okay. So that's the cheese. And see this right here that I don't need. I'll just take it and put it up in the refrigerator to use for another time. Okay. Mm, that cheese is so good. Okay, so now I'm going to take my bacon. If you get your bacon crispy enough, then it's easier to crumble it up. It's kind of hard to crumble up bacon when it's when it's too soft. Okay, so now that's crumbled up, my um, cheese is shredded. We're just going to wait for the oven to go off and take the potatoes all out. And add this to the it. potatoes are ready to come out now. You guys, be careful if you do this because this is very, very hot. And the potatoes are not, they're not really fork tender yet. They have to cook a little bit longer, but I didn't want them um, overcooked. I didn't want them overcooked because we have to kind of, you know, let the chicken heat up a little bit when we put them back in and I didn't want them mushy. So now I'm going to turn my temperature down to, I'm going to turn my temperature down to about 375 now. So now I'm going to add, I want to, I have some butter here and I want to add a few little pats of butter to the top before I add the chicken and everything else. You guys know when you eat baked potatoes, well at least when I do, I eat them with a lot of butter and sour cream. And I'm not doing the sour cream because I'm doing, I did the ranch dressing. So that's the only reason I didn't add 
sour cream. Don't y'all be having a fit over this bud. I told y'all Paula Dean, my auntie, she just don't know it yet. I am curious though, I want to taste one of these potatoes since I put all of the since I put that mixture on it, I just kind of want to. Okay. Mm, that's good. Okay. So now I have my the chicken that I mixed up with the ranch dressing, and we're gonna put this on top. And again, this chicken is already done. But it was frozen, so I needed to warm up throughout as it when I put it back in the oven. So and I'm just trying to kind of place the chicken to make sure that at least we get some chicken in each spoonful. Just a little bit. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to add some of the bacon. Top it with the cheese. save that little bit that I have right here. I'm going to save that for when it comes out to add that on the top. Okay? Let me wash my grease and hang in. And then now we're just going to put it back in the oven. As a matter of fact, I don't want the bacon getting browner. I'm going to cover it. put it back in the oven for about another 20 minutes or so. So I'm going to cover it for like the first 15 minutes. Alright you guys, it's been about 20 minutes. So we're going to take this out. All that yummy goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. And I decided to pull the cheese back out. Y'all, I'm going to put the rest of that cheese on here. I sure am. I'm going to put some more cheese. My 
on as well. So we're adding that cheese. And then because it's hot, that's going to melt, of course. Top it with the rest of this bacon. stuff in it. What's man stuff? Cheese and bacon and and potatoes and you, know, you see the big old pork Yeah, this one that looks good. It's like a um it's like a uh, it's like a diet buster. <laughs> you you then you right about that. This is it's, it's hot. You gotta hate your diet to eat this. I know it. And I hate my diet right now. So now you can you know how you always be trying to Act like you taste an explosion of flavors. Yes, yes. <laughs> be, be careful, it's hot. You didn't even blow it. There's a lot of good in here. Can I? What's, I taste. Um, what, what all you taste? Like a lot of meat. And what kind of meat? Big chunky potatoes and all kind of good meat. It's the kind of meat that's the, it's the, the kind of meat that's the what? The kind of meat that you want to eat. What kind of meat is that? The good kind. Can I taste it? This is your, no. I'll share her, I'll share mine. It's a half of my potato. Really? What's the woman's version? That's not even a half. Well, don't take That's none of right. mine, That's all right. You act like Don't you say, don't take it. Don't, don't take, take none of mine. Look, really good. Does it remind you of like a loaded baked potato? Mm hmm. I'm just going to say. You just going to say what? It's like a loaded baked potato, but a bigger one. I got a big bite. God, you're like a dinosaur. You just ate all of it. <laughs> what? A dinosaur? Well, I mean, you can take like a little woman. Does a woman have a little taste like a like that much? I was willing to give up that much. What are you trying to say? I'm a man? No, I ain't saying you're no man. No, you ain't no man. But you? I ain't no man. Ain't no man, but then, how you know? But then you got. How you know I ain't no you man? You got a bite like that. Wait a minute, back a, up. Stay right there. That's a great bite. How you know? Bite. How you know I'm not a man? Because I seen you eat before, and, and you. <laughs> what that got to do with? What does eating have to do with whether or not I'm a man? How you know I'm not a man? Cause. <laughs> okay, we gonna leave that alone, y'all. Okay. Okay. Well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, no, you're not a man. Why? <laughs> I, you know, I said, wait a minute, I said it was going to leave that alone. Why? How you know? Prove it to me you ain't a man. On camera. Oh, it's even gone. <laughs> Bye, y'all. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. You're so crazy. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We already look forward to you joining us again next time. You got to say bye. Come on back here and close out right. Get a picture. Push the nosy. Push the nosy. Shake, Shake something. something. Bye.